Around 2020, the chains realized they could not do everything by themselves, so it was needed to build the bridges for them to talk with each other. Then they can build the right projects with the right tools and you can have the best user experience. Multi-chains are the future? Yes, the momentum is unstoppable. The question is no longer if, but how well. Hey everyone, welcome to Blue Academy. I'm Isabella, your host, and today we are going to talk about multi-chain. Is it the future of crypto? Let's dig in. So first, we need to understand what multi-chain means. Multi-chain is the tech that allows blockchains to talk with each other. It's like building bridges from one isolated island to another. An internet of blockchains, a seamless web where value and data flow freely. So we need to understand why we are walking towards multi-chain. In the beginning of blockchains and crypto, chains did their own thing. Bitcoin was the digital gold, Ethereum did smart contracts. They were legends, but they couldn't hang out together. Around 2020, the chains realized they could not do everything by themselves, so it was needed to build the bridges for them to talk with each other. So to solve this problem, we had the pioneers such as Cosmos, the internet of blockchains that lets independent chains connect through a hub, and also Polkadot, the United Chains of America. It's a central security hub that protects and connects chains. So the pioneers proved it was possible. Then the builders started to arrive. Early bridges were clunky and frankly hacker magnets. But now we have layer zero. It's a universal translator for blockchains. It lets a smart contract on Ethereum directly message a smart contract on Solana, for example. This is the backbone of true on-chain apps. And we also have Hyperliquid. Hyperliquid builds its own insanely fast blockchain for a decentralized exchange. But instead of being alone, it uses a hyperbridge to pull in assets from Ethereum, Solana, BNB, you choose. It's a specialized chain that doesn't sacrifice the liquidity of the whole system. That's multi-chain dream in action. But why you should care? Why multi-chain matters to you? The fast answer is specialization. Chains stopped trying to be everything for everyone. So one chain can handle gaming, the other one can handle DeFi, the other one can handle social media, you name it. Why is that important? Because then they can build the right projects with the right tools and you can have the best user experience. Another answer is the diamond heart resilience. If one chain goes down, the network doesn't die, which means you can just roll through another chain. Not a single point of failure. And this is great for your wallet and for your investments. And of course, it's a ultimate user's choice. You want Solana speed, but to use in a Ethereum-based app, well, you can do it. That's the beauty of multi-chain. You wanna see a project that's nailing multi-chain vision right now? Boom! We hide all the complicated multi-chain machinery under the hood. So we have the trading bot where you just trade. You don't need to know if the token is on Ton, on Solana or BNB chain. Bloomstacks handle all the bridges, the swaps, everything. It just works. And of course, the Bloom meme pad. It's huge. A meme coin can launch on Ton and instantly tap into a combined community of 95 million users. And this is what end games looks like. The chains fade into the background and the user experience takes center stage. So, multi-chains are the future? Yes, the momentum is unstoppable. The question is no longer if, but how well. So winning projects won't be the ones that champion one chain over another. 
they'll be like Bloom, the masters the connection between them and make the technology invisible for the user. So the multi-chain future is about freedom, choice, and a stronger environment. And what do you think? Let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time. Bye-bye.